So I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Lucia. I live in Guayaquil, Ecuador. And the class, today's class is gonna be a myofascial release class. We are going to work on our legs from bottom to top. And I'd like to explain, as I told you before, a little bit of what fascia is. Fascia is a type of connective tissue that covers all of our body. It's like a bodysuit. And it also covers our organs, our nerves, our tendons. And this tissue protects, connects, and hydrates our, our body. This connective tissue is made mostly of water. So when it gets dehydrated, it affects all of our body. With the pass of the time, with age, with a lack of movement, like for example, nowadays we are sitting a lot of time in front of the computer. With the stress, um, we are living in an uncertainty time, a lot of fear surround us and that affects our body. So this technique, this myofascial release that we're going to do today, our goal is to rehydrate these tissues so we can move effectively, better, our muscles, our tissues can glide. Even our range of motion with time, it's better. So I hope you enjoyed the class. We're gonna need two blocks, two tennis balls, one blanket or pillow, and well, and this ball of uh, socks that we may use it, we may not. And there are some things that I would like you to keep in mind during the, the practice. One, we do not roll the ball on bones or nerves or wounds. If you feel like a sharp irradiating pain, stay away from it. Move the ball to the sides, up or down, just an inch. Since we're going to target a large muscle, there's not perfect spot. We are going to explore if we have any stiffness, stiffness or a tight muscle, that's the point. We are not supposed to feel pain. We can feel some tenderness, but we have to be able to breathe and relax. So no pain and just relaxing and breathing. Um, I think that's it. I think that we can begin our class, okay? Let's stand up. I'm going to put these blocks here. Okay. I want you to just stand on Tadasana, close your eyes and breathe. Breathe naturally, inhale and exhale. Feel your body, feel your feet, your legs, your hips, and just breathe. Be aware of your body. Now settle down for the practice. Breathe. Notice where your breathing is, how you are breathing. Just notice. Now 
Now we are going to open our eyes slowly, very slowly. And before we begin to work on our feet, I want you to do something. It's like a little experiment. Okay. I want to, you to power fold, just slowly bend a little bit your knees and just see how the back of your legs feel. See and notice where are your hands. Relax your arms, relax your head. Notice your feet, your legs, your hips, maybe your spine. Where are your hands? One more breath there and slowly come up, rounding your spine, very slowly. Okay, let's grab one ball. We're gonna begin with our right foot. We're gonna put the ball and just begin to explore with the ball on the foot. Explore a little bit. You can use the wall or any chair for support if you need to. It's up to you. Just begin to move the ball around. If you feel there's, there is any spot that is maybe stiff, stay there and make a little pressure, make a little pressure. We're going to put the toes on the mat. The ball is gonna be just above the heel. And we're going to move the foot like side to side side to side, making a little pressure. This is called cross fibering. We cross the tissues. Now, if you feel here, you need to stay in one spot, do it. Now we're going to put on the mat the heel. So the ball is gonna be just below the ball of our foot. The same, go side to side into the arc and to the outer part of the foot. Move the ball, make some pressure. If you find any interesting spot, stay there and make pressure. We also are going to begin to, to feel how the other leg, the standing leg, begins to activate. Continue exploring. As I was telling you, this fascia is like a big web and connects everything. So when we work our feet, we're going to begin to feel our feel the work in our legs too, maybe on our hips. Everything is intertwined, you know. Yes. Now we're going to roll the ball in one direction, from toes to heel. I, I don't want to do this. Just one direction. On toes to heel, I lift my, my feet, and again, toes to heel, making pressure, toes to heel. This is where, when we lift the foot, maybe we need some support, feel free to, to use it. Use whatever you need to feel comfortable, safe,
try to go from each toe to the heel, like direction. Make some pressure. Again, let's explore, let's explore one more time of the other areas of the foot. Stay when you feel one interesting spot. And at last, I'm going, I want you to just, without pressure, just lightly move the ball all around. This stimulates the lymphatic system. So if you don't need to apply any pressure here, just lightly, lightly roll the ball everywhere in the foot. And let the ball aside. One more time, stand in Tadasana, close your eyes and feel. Feel your feet. Notice, what do you feel? How do you feel the food that we work? Does it feel more alive? Does it, that, do you feel that it has maybe more circulation? Do you feel different from the other one that we have, haven't worked yet? Just notice. How do you feel your legs? Do you feel something in your legs? Any change? Okay, let's go to the other foot. First of all, we're just going to explore around everywhere in the foot, in the arc, in the outer part, under the heel, in the center. making a little pressure, as much pressure as it makes you feel good, comfortable. I have more uh, tender spots here than in the other foot. Stay in one place if you need to. Remember always to breathe. Now we're going to put the toes on the mat. So the ball is just above the heel. And we're going to move the foot side to side, side to side. Applying pressure. finding any area that needs work. Now we're going to put on the mat the heel. The ball would be just below the balls of our toes and move side to side into the arch into the outer part of the foot, in the center. Make some pressure there. Find the spot. I feel more in the arc in this foot. And now we're going to roll the ball in one direction, from toes to heel. Try to target every toe. From toe to heel, making some pressure.
supporting yourself if you need it. That's right. And at last, just roll the ball lightly, lightly, with no pressure, all over the foot, into the toes, into the heel. And one more time, let's stand in Tadasana. Close our eyes and notice, feel, breathe. What do you feel? Do the feet feel the same now? How do our legs feel? Maybe your hips. Open our eyes a little slowly, very slowly. We're going to forward fold again. And I want you to again notice if there's any difference in the forward fold. Where are your hands this time? Maybe they are lower. Just be aware. So let's forward fold slowly. Bend your knees and see. Do you feel any difference than the first time that we did that? We did this. Do you feel you gain any range of motion here? I do. <laughs> do you feel your legs more prepared to do this forward fold after our work? Yes. Stand up slowly. I hope you feel any difference. I do. It's amazing. This is amazing. We are going to go down to the mat. But first of all, since we're going to be relaxed on our hands, I want to move a little bit our wrist, do a little wrist prep. So let's. Uh, Put your elbows close to your body so they can move. And we begin to do circles with our wrist. Five times to one side, then switch sides. Five times to the other ones. And I want you to see your arms, your forearms. Are they moving? Because when we do wrist circles, we tend to move our forearms. We move them. So this is what we want to do. We're going to grab our forearm so it can't move and just move the wrist. Even though it's a little circle, it doesn't matter. I just want the wrist to move, nothing else. Five to one side, five to the other, without moving the forearm. Now the other hand, elbow into the body. I grab my forearm and just Move my wrist. This is our real range of motion. Five to one side, five to the other. Okay, let's shake it up a little bit. Now we're going to straight in front of our arms. I'm going to put it this way. Elbow straight, fingers straight, 
and we're going to we're going to suppose that we want to get our fingers here so just with intention pull your fingers fingers back you're going to feel how your forearms activate Now we're going to flex our wrists without bending the elbows and without bending our fingers because when we flex our wrists, sometimes we do this. No, this. Just fingers straight. It doesn't matter if it, if it doesn't flex that much. This is our range of motion without any compensation. Again, up, expand, with intention, pull back your fingers, down, up, one more, down, I'm shaking, my arms are shaking here. And relax, relax. And uh, now let's go down. Okay. We're going to grab one block, one ball. We're going to do our calves. We're going to divide our calves in the external part, the center, and the internal part of the calf. Down, center, and up. Okay, that's the areas we're going to explore. One thing to notice, I, we do not put the ball right under the tendon, Achilles tendon, just above. No, right here above okay so there are two ways to use the blocks you can put the ball with the block horizontally so you can move the ball side to side or vertically so you can move the ball up and down but but to move the ball and down you have to lift yourself a little bit so i'm going to use the block horizontally i put the ball let me grab this just above it at the skin tendon i just put my hands back just relax back and begin to move side to side or up or down if the block is vertically, the ball. If this is too intense, you can put your blanket over the ball and it will reduce the intensity, yeah? Or in, if it's too, too much intense, you can use the ball sock which is going to be mild, but it's like a soft massage, okay? So, let's move the ball into the internal part of the calf, the external, the center. To do this, you have to externally rotate the leg and internally rotate the leg. Internally rotate, externally rotate. Explore any tender spot. Now, if you find a spot, stay there. Relax. Your, your foot is relaxed. Everything else is relaxed. You can also flex and point your foot. That's going to 
put a little more tens tension on the leg over the ball. Point and flex. If this is too much, just stay in the spot, relax. With this, we, are, we should be able to relax and breathe. No pain, no sharp pains. So one more time, roll the ball. Maybe look for another spot. Stay there if you find it, breathe. Begin to feel, to be aware of what is happening in your leg. Okay, now let's go up a little bit. We're going into the center of the calf. Okay, so we stay there and begin to roll side to side into the outer part, the inner part of the calf, the center. We move our leg. Oh. Doesn't want to stay there. We move our leg. Side to side, find a spot and point and flex your foot. Point and flex. Breathe. Maybe find another spot, breathe. This could be sometimes a little intense. So use your, your blanket, use your salt bowl. Make it a nice experience. Stay there, everything relaxed, the food relaxed, breathe. Breathe. If you want to find another spot, please explore. Sometimes we have the calves very tight, especially when we do exercise. This is great for before doing exercise and after doing exercise. If you do it before, make it shorter, maybe 30 seconds in each spot, in a spot. But if you do it after exercising, you could stay one minute in each spot. No. Some athletes use this technique after training for recovery and it's, it's great. Okay, let's move up into the higher, part of the calf. We don't want the ball right down the knee. No, just below the knee in the upper part. So the same. Let's explore. Let's move the leg internally and externally rotating the hip really because this is this, this comes from the hip. <laughs> yeah. Find a, a spot. Usually the internal part of the calf is really tender. And flex and point the foot. Flex and point. Flex and point, great. Maybe find another spot, do the same, flex and point. 
and stay there just relaxing everything. Just let the skin, the calf, heavy on the ball, on the ball. Okay, now let's just, for one second, straight your, arm, your legs. Maybe shake it up a little bit and notice. Notice, close your eyes and feel your legs, feel your calves. Do they feel different? The one that we worked and the other one? Definitely, I, I do feel it. Okay, let's begin the other one. Let me change my side better. Okay, so I'm gonna put the block here. Remember, not under the um, Achilles tendon, just above. You stay just relaxed back there and begin to roll our calf. Searching for any tender area. Move your hip externally, internally, so that we can target the inner and outer part of the calf. Point and flex the foot, point and flex. And look for interesting spot and stay there with your leg relaxed, your foot relaxed. Breathe. And we'll go up to the center of the calf. Okay. I'm going to put this time the block horizontally, not vertically, so that you can see. I, I, can, I can always roll side to side, but here, if I lift my hips, I can roll up and down, up and down and search for any other areas. So if you find someone, just stay there, some spot and point and flex. Point and flex. Move around again a little bit. Stay there, point and flex. I think my left leg is, it ha, has more, more tender spots than the right. The same happened to me with my left feet, foot. Stay there, breathe, relax. And let's move up to the higher part of the calf, not under the knee, just below the knee. I return my block horizontally. And move the leg in and out. 
so we can search for any spot here. This is great after running, for example, or cycling. It's great. It relaxes the leg, recovers the muscles after the training. Stay in one spot, flex and point the foot. Flex and point. And then stay just with the foot relaxed, the leg also relaxed, and breathe. Remember the breathing is a very important part of our practice, of any training really. And let's remove the block and the ball. And shake our legs and still feel. Feel, close your eyes if you like. Feel your calves. How do they feel now? Let's do another experiment here. Let's sit down on our sitting bone, bones. If you'd like to grab a blanket and put it below the hips, it's okay. And I just want you to forward fold just from the hips and not the spine, from the hips, just a little bit forward and feel your legs. Feel the back of your legs. Maybe where are your hands here? Just a little bit. And return back. Now we're going to use two balls. We're going to target the hamstrings. Uh, I'm going to give you a back to explain. We're going to put the ball just below the sitting bones. Okay, so these are my, these are my sitting bones here, and we're going to target here, the center, and down. Okay, not at not under the knee, just above. But the ball is going to be below the sitting bones, okay? So, I'm going to sit down, open a little bit my legs, bend our, my knees, and we're going to put the balls right here. The sitting bones are on the floor, it's just below. We use our hands to just relax, you, if you have a wall, you can relax on the wall. And move the legs. Remember, if this too intense, use the blankets over the balls or maybe the sock ball. <laughs> move a little bit the legs. Maybe you can, with your hand, move the ball a little inner, in the inner side more than, than the other side. Just explore, explore, find a tender spot. The rest of the body is relaxed. This is not a stretch. Stay there, breathe.
Now move the ball a little bit down the leg. Not yet in the center, just a little bit down, just above the center of, the of our hamstring. And explore. If this is not too much, you can walk your hand closer to your body, straight up your torso, and you will feel more load there. If not, you just stay back, relaxed, and move your legs and finding any spot. But if you don't feel too much here, just walk your hands in and you will feel the load. Bend your knees a little bit. Again, this is not a stretch. You just straighten your torso to load your legs so that you can feel more. Move. Move your legs. Find a spot and relax. Breathe. Remember, you don't have to feel any pain. You feel a sharp pain, stay away. Move the ball. Now, let's go down a little bit. We are now in the center of our hamstring. If you need more load, just go a little bit forward with your torso and you will feel it. Move your legs, breathe. The most important thing here is to explore. To explore our body, know our body, raise some awareness about how we feel, where we feel things, what do our body need. Let's move the ball a little bit down. Move it. Here you can maybe lift a little bit your, your foot one by one and move as we did in the calf. Move your legs internally and externally. And find one spot to stay in. Just breathe. Explore, feel. Now a little bit down, just before getting into the knee, the same. Let's move one by one, internally, externally. If you go, if you want to go more into the inner side, it's okay. And just stay there, see the other leg. Yes. And breathe. Breathe, feel. Now we're going to take out the balls and again, Let's sit right up. Our sitting bones are on the mat. And just forward fall again. Just a little bit. 
How do you feel? How do you do your your hamstring feel? Do they feel more flexible? Again, do you feel that you gained any range of motion after this work? Let's come back slowly. And we're going to apply to the side of the body. Okay. So we're going to use one ball, the other block. I'm going to use this block for like a pillow. Okay, I'm going to lie down. The leg that is on the mat is gonna be straight up or, well, or bent, but that's not the leg is going to work. This is going to work. We're going to target the inner thigh. Yeah. Be aware of the inguinal area we don't want to to work on them so just below here in this bunch of muscles that is our target so i can put the block vertically the ball and move with my toes up and down or i can put it horizontally and move with my hip side to side. You can use this height or this height. I'm going to use this height, okay? And I'm going to use the vertical. So we're going to put the ball in here. Foot on the ground. My head rests on the block or on the blanket. And we, we start to move up and down, looking for a place to target. If you need support here, you can use your blanket. Okay, and put it on the knee, under the knee, to give you more support or under the feet. Okay. Okay. Or if not a blanket and you have another block, the same. So you support your knee or your feet. Okay. Whatever it makes you feel. Don't try to relax. I'm going to use the blanket as a pillow. Okay. So we move this, side, this up and down for me. Maybe it's side to side for you. It depends in what directions you have your block. And stay in one spot. Stay. If the ball is too intense here, put the blanket over the ball. Now from there, in your spot, you can lift and lower your leg, your foot, lift and lower. If not, just stay down and relax over the area that you need to. And breathe. Now let's go to the center of our thigh, not the pipe. The same. Let's look for a spot. Move around. It's up to you where the ball goes within this area. 
find a spot, stay. Lift or lower your foot if you'd like. Breathe, relax. Maybe you close your eyes and feel. Let's now go to the lower part of the thigh. Yeah. Maybe here I wanna use the lower part of the block too. It's better, yeah. Move the ball, search for a spot. When, once you find one area, stay there, relax. Just let the thigh sink into the ball. If you like, lift and lower the foot. It's gonna be a little bit more intense. And relax there. Remove the ball and let's go to the other leg. I'm going to switch sides here. Okay. Just the leg of the mat is relaxed, bent or straight, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use the middle height of the block here, not in the inguinal area, down and We begin to explore. Yeah. Relocate the ball if you'd like into any area that you maybe feel or need to work. Lift or lower your leg. And relax. Just let the tissues rest on the ball. Let's move to the center of the thigh, inner thigh. And begin to search for a spot. Leave and lower your leg, your foot. Just relax there in any spot. Breathe.
And finally, we're going to the lower part of our inner thigh. I'm going to use the lower height of our block too. Let's find, again, a spot. You can close your eyes if you like. Lift and lower the foot. Stay there. Search for any other spot. Close your eyes, breathe. And let's remove the ball and the block. And let Lie down on our backs. Use your blanket as a pillow. Straighten your legs and feel, feel your legs. Make it, shake them up a little bit. And feel your legs, close your eyes. Feel the sensations in your legs, in your feet. What about your hips? What about, what about your spine? Do you feel something? Maybe nothing, it doesn't have to be the same for everyone. Do you feel your legs alive? If you did anything in the morning or any other practice before this, do you feel any recovery in your legs? What did you discover after this work? about your body. Breathe, inhale and exhale naturally. And I invite you to stay there in this position for Shavasana. Or maybe you can, you'd like to do any other resting pose. Maybe you want to lie to the side of your body, or if you want to get into a wall and put your legs up, feel free to do it. Whenever Shavasana pose that you feel like to do now, after this work. I just want to thank you for joining me in this class. I hope you feel the benefit of the work. I hope your body can feel the benefit of this uh, technique, which is great. Remember, you can do it before, after exercising, anytime. It is great for our body. I hope you feel great. And I also hope that you maybe have discovered something new about your legs, your foot. So thank you very much and we'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>